In this tutorial, we're covering how to go live from your Xbox as well as your PlayStation to Lightstream, where we'll re-encode your feed with all of the items that you would like, from overlays to chat, event lists, as well as multiple scenes and templates for you to use on your next live stream. Let's get into this video. To get started, navigate to studio.golightstream.com and sign in with your Twitch account. The first time you log into Lightstream, you'll be met with an onboarding process. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to start from scratch and I'm going to show you how to build up a scene as well as show you more about those templates later in the video. To get started, we're going to focus on this left side of the screen, which is going to be where our sources as well as our layers will go. We're going to click the big green add button and you're going to be able to see from an entire list of things that we can add to our canvas from camera to inviting a guest, have different audio sources, screen shares, game source, a bunch of media, all the Twitch events you could imagine from alerts and events and chat. We also can do third party browser sources as well as linking up to show our active song being played. For now, we're going to start off with the basics and go with a game source. To have your console feed go into Lightstream, you'll have to add a game source. And from here, you can see that there is an Xbox setup and a PlayStation setup. And under Xbox setup, there is a nice little walkthrough here telling you exactly what to do by choosing the Xbox guide button setting your destination to Lightstream and then going live. For PlayStation, we're going to go to internet connection, go to advanced settings. We're going to go under DNS, change it to manual, and you're going to enter the numbers that are on your screen in your Lightstream studio. To be clear, the numbers that you see inside of this video might not be the same numbers you see in your Lightstream studio setup. You want to use the ones on your screen and they will be specific to where you are in your location to get a primary DNS and a secondary DNS. Seeing as I'm East Coast US from recording this, it's given me these two as an option. Once those are entered, you'll broadcast directly to Twitch and Lightstream will intercept that video, grab it and re-encode it and send it back to Twitch through these DNS settings. Now that your game source is set up, another popular thing to add is actually a camera. So we're going to choose add and we're going to go to camera. From here, you're going to be able to see all the cameras that I have access to on this computer and you'll see that I have the Elgato 4K Pro. And now that the camera is added, you're going to see that we have full adjustment of these sources and you can see that we can actually shorten the source from top to bottom and we can as well as just go ahead and drag it from a corner and what's really nice is I want to actually put mine down in the bottom left corner however I've got a lot of extra space on my camera that kind of just doesn't really focus itself on me uh, when I'm trying to go live so what I'm gonna do is grab the side and I can automatically cropped in from the side and have full control over what my camera looks like and if I want to be even granular with these settings at the very top of the screen there's a position and size button I can actually go pixel by pixel and say exactly what height and width I would like, as well as where I want it on X and Y position on the screen. I also can rotate it, or I can use the nice little neat adjustments to be able to lock it directly against the sides and put it to where it's perfectly in the corner. There's also built-in snapping, so you can see as I move this around, we'll be able to find places and actually snap source to source as well so that everything lines up. The next thing we want to add are alerts, and we can do that by clicking the add button, go down to Twitch events, and you'll see alert. And the benefit of an alert box is we can actually show viewers when they follow or subscribe or cheer or whatever the case it gives them a actual visual notification of that alert and what's also cool is yes we also have full control over what this box looks like we're going to put it right above my head over here on the left and we'll also be able to see that we have full control over what's inside of these so once we click follow we can change the media we can change the sound the volume what effect is played everything that comes along with this we can even change what the actual text is on the alert and you have full control of these you can turn some of them on or off to be able to show them or not. That's what's really cool about this system. Two more things I want to add. We'll do those really quick. I actually want to add our chat. So once I click chat, we'll get a chat box. We can put that down in the bottom right hand corner. And the good thing about the chat box is you can type inside of your own Twitch chat. Like I'm going to say hello world and we'll actually be able to preview on stream what it looks like. So you can see here on my actual Twitch chat, it says hello world. This is what I just typed in. You can preview not only all of the things from the text, but you can change the color everything up here at the top for the settings, as well as you can say show platform icon, colored line on platform. There's a lot of customization that comes along with the actual Twitch chat. And last thing we're going to do is add an events list. I'm going to put these up here in the top left corner. And 
these are just the latest follows that I've had to my channel. And again, if I wanted to preview any of these alerts, if I click follow, you'll be able to see that it will actually preview on the events list as well as actually on the alert. Now I've technically set up this scene and I would be very happy to go live from the scene. However, I want to go ahead and show you a couple more things, especially when it comes to our templates and the right side of our screen, which shows some other really cool stuff. Down at the bottom, we have multiple scenes that you can do. With the free plan, you can only go live with three scenes. However, you could have created more than three. You'll only be able to go live when have choice of those three scenes that you've done. If you have a premium subscription, you do not have this limitation. With that being said, you can always add new scenes. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and rename this one. And I'm just going to rename this one test live just for this video. I've just zoomed out a little bit. I renamed that to test live, but I want to show you when I click add scene here, we not only have an empty scene, just like what we currently had when we started, but we also have full templates here from beam to cute to matcha as well as cool. And you can see that there are five different ones here and they show you what you actually get in a little bit of a preview. So what I'm gonna do is actually start off with the clean one here. And when I click add all, they will all add to the bottom of the scene. All of those are added at the bottom and you see starting soon, intermission, stream ending, just chatting as well as gameplay. For starting soon, you can see we have an alert box, a chat, as well as the actual starting soon screen here. For intermission, we have the same thing with another animated piece for be right back. Same thing for stream ending. For just chatting, we have a full screen camera, which when it's first added in, it doesn't automatically choose your camera. So what you will need to do is actually click the source, go into settings by either going to the three buttons to settings or clicking settings at the top and choosing your camera, which will add it onto the screen. And then also for gameplay, you'll have to do the exact same thing, which I've already done ahead of time. And these are all preset templates where I didn't have to do anything except just select my camera. And that's basically done. You can see there's a chat box here. You know, there's alerts. There's the, the watermark here, which you can remove if you are a premium subscriber. And what's also cool that I haven't mentioned is let's say that you've actually selected your microphone, which in this case, it says no mic. And let's just say I have selected a microphone. Uh, I actually have full control over what my mic would be inside of here. And I also have full control of what my game source volume will be. So this would be things like my sound from my game, as well as my headset mic. If I'm using it for my console, I can adjust those volumes up and down. Or if I've had any kind of media, a video or a guest, I can always control their volume from the left as well and mute. As mentioned before, templates are such a great way to get started streaming because you don't have to do a whole bunch of setup or really know how to navigate the software. You just click everything, select your camera, and then you can go live. Now, what we haven't covered is actually the panel on the right, which is over here on this arrow. The first panel right here is actually your platform chat. If you're live on Twitch, you'll be able to see your Twitch chat over here as well as respond inside this panel once you go live. We also have guest chat, and this is where if you invite someone onto your stream with the guest function, you'll be able to communicate with them and it not go live on stream, but inside the actual Lightstream Studio software to where you'll be able to see your messages between each other, maybe with pre-planning or put your notes here for your live stream. And this last panel is what's really cool, your event list. This is where you can see your follows, your subscribers, your notifications of what's occurring on your stream here inside your event list. There's one more panel to talk about, and that's actually at the top of the screen under settings. For to go live on a console, you have to have the auto live function on. So that means when you go live on your console, you'll automatically go live onto Twitch and the other platforms you're going live on. Now, when I say other platforms, yes, we support simulcasting. All you have to do is click add destination, choose your destination and sign in, and you'll be able to adjust other metadata things from those. For example, when I click into Twitch, I can actually title my stream from inside Lightstream. For this tutorial, I'm not going to add those destinations, but do know that you can stream up to five destinations with one of those having to be Twitch. And just to be clear on that, Twitch is a required destination for you to go live and Lightstream from your console. Based on your plan, whether you're free or premium, you'll have different options for resolution between 480, 720, as well as 1080p, all at 30 frames per second. Before you go live, there's one more thing you need to know. The scene that you have all the way to the far left, right beside the add scene button, will be the scene that your stream goes live on first. So for reference, in this case, if I went live, I would be going to my starting soon scene first. However, when I go live, I'm probably just going to go directly to my live scene and just be able to stream without having to adjust things. So to make that happen, I'm actually going to grab the test live, the one we started and created when we started this video. I'm going to drag it all the way over to the left and drop it and make it the first scene within the order. Now, obviously, I can go ahead and choose any of these scenes while I'm live to adjust, and we'll show you that as we're live here in a moment. To show you I'm going live, I'm actually going to be doing from my Xbox. And while this is on a capture card for this video recording, this is not something that we're actually using to go live. But what I'm going to show you is I'm just going to go ahead and go to the share button. I'm going to go down to live streaming. I'm going to go down to more options. We're going to show 
destination as light stream and then I'm just going to click go live now. Mine does say my stream right here, but we're just going to go live so I can show you that this is working. Now I went ahead, I just hit live on my console. So we should see this actively change from offline to live and you can see that it just did. It says broadcast started and I'm now live on Twitch. Now I'm live on Twitch and you can see that right here is my actual channel right here. It says live. Here's some stuff that I've typed right here. I can type hello world and you can see that on my live stream you're going to see that pop up here in just a moment in that chat box place beautiful works lovely now i'm going to move this off to the side i'm going to show you that the latency for this is really low so i'm just going to hit a and it actually is almost almost real time uh which is kind of crazy now i wouldn't obviously stream from this panel but it's pretty cool that you can see what your video is in almost real time and monitor that here we can open up this panel and you can actually see my twitch chat here you can see hello world i can even say uh hello world and type in here from the broadcaster perspective and do the same and so that's me live directly from my console and i'm actually going to show you right here i'm going to click over to the starting soon screen and i'm going to go ahead and pull my stream back over and and you're going to see that it's going to directly fade and go into the starting soon screen. Once again, I'll do the same thing when I go over to the stream ending screen. You'll see that it will fade in the platform. It actually did a hard cut. However, in the platform or for actual stream, you'll see that it will fade in and out. So now we're over into the thanks for watching the stream ending part, which is what's so cool is that you get these options of what's set up. And once again, we can go to just chatting. We can go full screen. I can say hello, everyone. And on stream, you actually get the same thing. And the quality looks great. I'm really excited to see what all you can do with Lightstream Studio. To end your stream, end it from your console and it will end inside the platform. As you can see, I just did that and it went offline. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more information, check out our website at golightstream.com and we hope to see you in the next video.